You want a secret? Grades don't matter. You want to know why? Probably watching this video because you're wondering, hey, are grades worth it in pharmacy school? In today's video, I take a short segment from my full podcast with Sagar, or uh, coded like a capsule. You should go check out the full playlist and make sure I'll leave all his links below of where to follow him and all that. And I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Yeah, but man, like they've been through it with me like for years. Yeah. I think every day we spend time together, we study together. Um, it's kind of amazing just like how close you can be with people. And then yeah. there's like, there's, you know, the thing about pharmacy school, it's like, it's not all about your best friends. It's just about the random people you meet and they kind of tell you something. Maybe they'll give you a study tip, which actually works or just like random stuff. People you meet when you're working, it's kind of nice. I enjoy my time here. So I think, um, everyone has a different experience in pharmacy school, I guess, from what you do, but yeah. I've just always been heavily involved with meeting new people. So I think that's what makes it. Dude, you remind me so much of myself, man. Like back in farm school, like, dude, I was always about people. I was always about going out. I was not like, yeah, of course you have to study and stuff too. But mm. I was always like, I was like, we only have this time for a short amount of time. Like, dude, let's yeah. meet as many cool people as we can. Exactly. Yeah. yeah I, and what you said right now, like, we don't have that much time. I think, yeah. dude, I know you, you, think, you said I'm young, like I'm 22. Yeah. But, um, a lot of my friends are graduating this year and I think it kind of hit me like, dude, like they're going to be working jobs and it's like nine to five. You don't get the weekends off. Like you don't get to spend time with your friends this, like this much time with your friends ever again in your life. Like after college is done, you're, you're going on, you're like working a job, you're getting through that and all that. So, yeah. um, you know, what's really interesting about that. Like I have a lot of friends who are real high back in the day and, yeah. um, they're like, Dude, what was all that for, man? I wish I didn't work so hard because I could have just had more fun, met cooler people. I was like, dude, that is exactly what I'm, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. You, know, you end up in the same place as a lot of other people. And uh, yeah, man, it's just like, it's an ex people forget. It's an experience that we have in our life, man. And it's just like, so you got to just enjoy that shit while you're in it, man. Yeah, I think I, I, even since high school, my parents always knew that I wasn't always academically focused. Like, I, I was pretty smart. Like, I get good grades. But yeah. it's never been, um, like, I don't want to say it hasn't been top priority. Like, the top priority for me is to graduate farm school. Yeah. But it hasn't been a priority where I forget about everything else in my life. I think you could easily slip into, like, sadness and depression if that's all you think about all day. And mm -hmm. uh, my friend just got to Rokai. She's super smart. Yeah. And she manages her time perfectly. But some people, everyone's not the same, you know? And for me, grades have been there. Like, it's been important, but I think I've slowly learned that it's not everything and it's not even close to everything. So that's, it's a lesson a lot of people learn. Some people never learn it. But I'm glad I, I've always felt this way. And that's just like part of who I am. I would never, uh, I don't ever see myself being a straight A student past like high school. I didn't get straight A's. It's just not who I am. And. <laughs> And here's the thing, it's okay to not yeah, be that okay. person too, right? It's yeah. completely fine. I feel like, yeah, if you want to be a professor or want to, well, not even professor, if you want to be like a pharmacologist and know every single fucking detail about things, there's roles for that. But there's also mm -hmm. roles for people like us who just like meeting people, connecting people and all that sort of stuff, man. Yeah. Um, pretty interesting what you're saying right now too is because I actually have a pharmacy mentee. Um, yeah, so funny. I'm not like practicing pharmacy, but I have uh -huh. a pharmacy mentee and we were talking about connections. And I think the turning point that he had that grades weren't everything was when he met his first pharmacy director. And uh -huh. now he's like, dude, they're working together. <laughs> That's his new mentor now. And oh, wow. I'm just like, okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. What, what do you think is gonna, what do you think is gonna set you apart from, from, uh, like when you're applying to a job, what do you think is going to set you apart? Knowing a pharmacy director at that hospital or, yeah. or getting good grades in Rokai, like every other app, <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 No, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it's scary to say like nowadays, but yeah. man, networking is next to everything when getting a job. If they know who you are or they've heard good things about you, man, like that means a lot more than your GPA. Cause man, Physically, if you look at your resume, the GPA is such a small, like, it's right on the top and it's tiny. Something they'll read at first, they're just going to forget about it. But the other bulk of it, your cover letter, everything that you're going to talk about yourself and how you present yourself, yeah. man, that, that makes a lot.
And if you like this video, make sure to check out the full podcast. You can check it out right here. I'm waiting.